Hey guys, it's David here and I'm going to read a question from a viewer and the goal of this video is I'm going to show you my approach to how you can have the best, most productive week of your life. The question I'm going to read here is um, someone sent it to me and the reason I'm going to share it here, the person asked me to, to share it, is that <clears throat> this is the, talking about procrastination, talking about personal productivity, this is the story I see repeated again and again with people. This is the experience they're going through. I'm going to give advice here on how to overcome this. But people sometimes ask me why I'm so interested in personal productivity and procrastination, goal success, how to achieve your goals. The amount of emotional suffering people are going through, inner turmoil because of this. And as a therapist, what I'm interested in is helping people overcome inner conflict and emotional pain and if you can resolve these issues you're going to save yourself years and years of indecision and inner conflict so have a read of this question maybe only partially it will apply to you but you might recognize some of your own issues in this but we'll see so the question says David the pattern I'm locked into seems impossible to overcome if you were to look at my life you think I was a failure I'm working a job I hate, it has no future and gives me no sense of pride. In fact, I feel ashamed of my job. But the thing is, I do feel I can accomplish more. As low as I am, I feel I have more to give. I have ambition. It just seems like I can't find a way forward. It seems like I have a mountain to climb to get to the life I want. After work, I know I should be working on my goals. In this case, the goal is an online course. But I feel so drained that I can't seem to move. Physically, I'm fine. It just seems emotionally draining. I sit in my room watching videos or playing video games. I tell myself I'll start tomorrow. But I know I'm lying to myself. I feel like such a failure. It's affecting all aspects of my life. My confidence is so low that even my friends notice it. Their advice doesn't seem to help. What should I do? So I'm going to give my advice based on this question. And this is inner conflict, inner turmoil and indecision. That's the way I see this issue. It's leading to, of course, not following through towards a goal. But what I'm going to say here is just going to make this so simple. Now, it, it, when I say it, you might the person who sent me this question, you, they might think that, and you might think that also. When I say this, it's going to sound so simple. It's going to sound too simple. But I just want you to bear with me. This is the advice I would give. The problem here is indecision. Not making up your mind what you want to do. And I understand completely that it feels like emotionally draining. And that is exactly what's happening. The problem is you feel emotionally drained. So let's look at what's causing the emotional draining. What's causing the emotional drain is indecision. The, the, the mental energy that goes into what am I going to do? And not being clear about that. So what I'm going to say is like, having a goal in life is great. And the fact that you have ambition and you have a sense that you're your life, you haven't lived up to your potential, is also a good thing. Because the truth is, you do have enormous potential. Everybody has enormous potential. And when we go around, go about life with these goals that we have, but we're, we're not conscious about them, we get into all sorts of problems. You're better off having no goals than having a goal and being unconscious about it. Not consciously aware of what's going on as I'm going about achieving this goal. Okay, well, a lot of us are asleep when it comes to this. So I'm going to show you how to, the simple little thing you can do every day. I wrote a book on this, just on this one thing, really. And there's an online course on my website about this. What you need to do is forget personal productivity and being getting a lot done. What you need to build, the first thing you need to build is self-trust. Once you have self-trust established, there is nothing you can't do. And one thing that will immediately go away is indecision 
and this mental emotional drain that you're feeling so if I asked you to I should be checking in with this person if I was working with them I might I, I could check in with them randomly and I, I, I had asked them your goal okay what's the next thing you're doing towards your goal right now you might be relaxing that's fine but what is the next thing that you are consciously aware that you're going to be doing towards that goal and I would almost put money on it okay that the person wouldn't be able to tell me I'd find them in a state of indecision about when should I start it's not the right time etc etc that's where the um, the drain comes in so if you don't know consciously your next step, and by the way, that next step should always be so easy and so achievable and doable, it seems almost not worth it. Okay, that's another thing. But the main issue is, do you know the next thing you're doing towards your goal? And the reason we usually don't have it in mind is that we get so fed up of having failed to follow through in the past that we believe there's something wrong with us. And we believe that I'm incapable of doing that now. We don't trust ourselves anymore. And it's really because we've made so many promises in the past, we've broken so many promises to ourselves that we get into this state of helplessness. So very simply, this is what the formula looks like. Pick your next step, and it has to be super easy. And you either follow through and do it, or you don't. But what happens after you don't do it? You lose the right to do it for the rest of the day. That's it. That's the consequence. Okay, there has to be a consequence when you don't do it. You can't, the one thing you can't do is say, I'm going to do it at 8 p.m., not do it at 8 p.m., and tell yourself, oh, I can do it later. It's the I can do it later option that is killing you emotionally. So just remove that option. So consciously, 8 o'clock. Now, consciously at 8 o'clock means 8 o'clock or it's not going to happen at all. It's either 8 or it isn't. And then you just watch whether or not you show up. If you show up, great. If you don't show up, that means you just... And that's not a bad thing either. But how you respond to not showing up is the issue. Do you permit yourself to say, oh, well, I can do it later because it's important to me. Well, if it was important to you, you would have been there at 8 o'clock. And by important to you, like what's the real thing you're getting from that? You're developing self-trust. I'm going to be where I say I'm going to be, consciously. Okay, I'm becoming conscious of what I'm actually doing to myself in this whole goal. I might sound like I'm being a bit firm here <laughs> with this person, but that's just because I know that this will change it. I know this will work. And I see people falling into this all the time. Oh, I can do it later. Well, maybe I'll do it. I, I didn't feel like it then. If you didn't feel like it then, that's okay. Just say, well, look, I didn't show up at 8 o'clock. That means I can't do it today. Now, if you do show up at 8 o'clock, that's fine. You've kept a promise to yourself. Then you can find what is your next step. You, can, you could work again maybe at 10 o'clock if you wanted to. But you consciously decide what my next step is. You should always have a conscious, consciously decided upon next step for yourself. And if you notice yourself breaking promises to yourself, that is the one thing you have to eliminate. And eliminating that is through, okay, that's it, leave it. I've, I'm, I'm, I've, I've slipped back into breaking promises and procrastination. I need to shut this down and just go away for a while. Okay, that's you teaching yourself, if I don't show up, I, that's it. There is no later on, okay? I've made a few videos in this. People who've watched a few of my videos before will know that. But I promise you, if you do that and stick to that plan, this goes away. And I, you know, the language, of course I have huge empathy for this person in this question because I was there, I know exactly what that feels like. You feel like you're a loser, you feel like uh, you've got a million miles to walk towards your goal, you'll never get there, a mountain to climb, you feel like there's something wrong with you, you're, de you're defective. And you know, your friends probably mean well giving you advice here. But a lot of the advice online is just work harder, push yourself, do all that stuff, okay? Uh, motivate yourself. Motivating yourself really has nothing to do with it. It's about trusting yourself. Systematically, 
setting small goals for yourself consciously and then either following through or not. So there is no try in this. Don't, it's not about trying harder. It's about just noticing, am I keeping promises to myself? Now, you do have to pick a time. You just have to choose. It doesn't matter what it is. What is my next step? So let's say tomorrow you wake up. Just pick something. What is the thing I'm going to do towards that goal? Now I've identified it, and that's fine. And then just notice if you show up, great. If you don't, immediately you need to stop. Just step away from it for that day. You can try again tomorrow. So I've tried that. In fact, I've tried this with clients. It's worked for them. And the one they actually fall into a different trap then, some of them. They actually fall into a trap where they, they can't stop working. I, I know that probably sounds like I'm filling you full of it here. But I promise you that you'll have a higher end problem. And we can talk about that maybe in another video. The next problem you'll have is shutting off work. You'll be so consistent with these that you'll be becoming so productive. We'll have to, you'll have to consciously step away from your goal. Because you can unconsciously stay in a goal as well when you're in it. So you have to decide when I'm going to do it and when I'm going to step away from it. That's what I mean about consciousness, being conscious. I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Bit of a rant, but uh, let me know what you think and uh, I'll talk to you next time.